Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Abraham Lincoln High School for the final game of the season. Abraham Lincoln High School versus Erasmus Hall. E. Hall, of course, coming in undefeated. Tough team to beat. Lincoln's going to have their work cut out for them. I'm here with Mike Capizzo. What can we expect today, Mike? Well, we are expecting a very tough game, to say the least, for the Lincoln side. As the ball gets kicked off, taken by Lincoln around the 10, and they're going to come up the sidelines, break through a tackle right around the 30-yard line, and that's where Lincoln's going to start and take over. So today is going to be a very, very uh, competitive game from Lincoln's side. Lincoln is actually going to be without their star quarterback today. Uh, Tribble is out. He's going to be out today, as well as their... Uh, leading uh, quarterback as well is going to be out as well. So um, this is going to be a very, very tight game. So a little bit of a different type of offense is going to be started by this Lincoln team. Uh, but this uh, Erasmus defense has been one of the big stories this year. Talking to the coaches earlier before the game, they have not allowed a score all season. So this is going to be a big little test for this Lincoln offense the way that they are. So it's getting ready to begin the first play of the game by Lincoln. And look at just a timeout called on the sidelines as they get the chains in order. Uh, starting quarterback for today for Lincoln will be number seven. That is Zachary Plaza. So Plaza usually is playing uh, tight end and also uh, playing defense as well, uh, playing defensive back. He's actually going to be the quarterback today. So we're going to look to see how Lincoln wants to uh, play their offense today, especially with this defensive onslaught. Uh, I'm going to be controlling the cameras for you guys today. Uh, if I can definitely find out who the players are, I'll be calling them out. First play, a little handoff, a little bit of a fumble there, and a sack by Erasmus to start it off. So a little bit of a fumble there by Plaza as he grabbed the ball from the snapback, and that's going to be a loss of at least 10 yards. So second down now, and about 20 yards now. We'll look to see what Lincoln wants to do here. As we said, this Erasmus team has been such a story this season, undefeated, having an amazing defense. Second down, a little bit of a blitz again. They're going to hand it up the middle and no gain there. Nice job there by the defensive front, keeping Lincoln at bay. So it'll be third down. That was number six for Lincoln. That's Emmanuel Nicholas, who got the handoff there. So it'll be third down. Third down and about probably 21 to go. So we look to see what Lincoln does here. Got Coach, o Coach D. Siena giving some play calls here. Want to make sure we uh, warn our viewers, our clock is very much not official. And as a matter of fact, nobody is running the clock here at Lincoln. So we'll try to keep it as close as we can. But at some point, we're just going to end up skipping numbers when the officials call out a new time. Nice play there by Plaza, gaining at least 11, uh, nine yards on the play. That was a pass to number 15, and looking like fourth down, so looking like Lincoln was going to punt the ball away. That was a catch there by Jahiri Scott Sargent. So fourth down, as uh, looking for the punt unit, will get ready to come out on the field to punt the ball back to, to Erasmus. So a little bit of a rough beginning for Lincoln had a little bit of the fumble on the first play and that created a little bit of a mishap so we'll look to see we get ready for possibly the punt unless they're going to be greedy Lincoln no, and go for no, a fourth no. down <laughs> this is not fourth down territory no. in any football realm yep <laughs> so fourth down now looks like Lincoln's getting ready to set up here We'll see what Erasmus wants to do. They're just going to get ready for the punt. Ball comes back. Dropping all the way back by the 25. Player falls down. And it looks like they're going to call him down because he was down when he caught the ball. So he'll be down right about the 20-yard line, actually. And that's where Erasmus is going to take over. Started by the lead quarterback here, which is Vincent Cayano III. Interesting little stat found out today that actually uh, Vincent's dad graduated from Lincoln, so I'm sure his father must be really proud that he's facing actually his team right now. So we'll highlight here. 
First play of the game for Erasmus, starting right at about the 20 yard line. This Lincoln defense has had sparks of greatness and sparks of, of boneheaded plays. So we'll look to see what Lincoln can do here on the first play. Hand off right up the gut to the left side to the running back. He's gonna get some room and go up to about 31. Looking like possibly a, possibly a first down maybe. We'll look to see what they call. And a first down given there. Tough to see who that was. I'm gonna have to acknowledge that later on. It'll be second down now for Eras uh, first, first down for Erasmus, so one play and 11 yards gained. Looks like the ref calling a little bit of a time here. Just making sure everything is in order as they continue to go. Our clock is not running right now on the scoreboard, but we're using our clock to our advantage. We'll see what the refs say. So first play, fake the handoff, pass over the middle. Nice catch there. And gonna be taken down right about the four. Ah, he's going forward and goes all the way to the 50. Nice job there to gain that first down. That was taken by number nine of Erasmus. Gonna have to again check later who that was. But another first down, so back-to-back -back plays leading the first down for Erasmus. Said number nine? I believe so. That is Yassine Murden. Okay. So number six moving to the left. Gonna set up on the left side. Gonna may possibly try to maybe do a little run here. He's gonna run, gain about five. So that'll be about second down. So second down. Five yards there. Nice little play there by Lincoln to contain that play. They were trying to go to the outside with that pass play, but nice defense to hold that to just a gain of at least four, four to five yards. Second down now. Team gets set. Two wide receivers on the right side with the running back right behind. Lincoln's defense, Lincoln's sidelines trying to cheer on the defense. Hand up the gut and nice tackle there. Gonna lead him to about no gain there. That was started by number 34 of Lincoln. And that is uh, Jalen Cooper Lashley, the sophomore. Nice little play there to break up that, break up that gain. So it'll be third down now and about three yards to go. So third down, look to see how they set up. Two wide receivers again on the right side. This offensive line of Erasmus is very big. So we'll look to see what they wanna do here. Coach giving them the plays here, getting set. So it looks like three wide receivers on the left and looks like they're gonna call a timeout. So a little bit of miscommunications there on the Erasmus uh, sidelines. Couldn't really get set for that play. So, we go to a little timeout. So possibly a 30 second timeout there just to get their play call in order. As Erasmus is now third down and three. I have third and two on my graphic. It's probably about third and two, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you know, two or three, yeah, looking like it. Two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> but still, so far we've seen a uh, a nice start by Erasmus with their offense. They're definitely um, getting getting themselves uh, into scoring territory here, being on the Lincoln side of the ball. I mean, this is a strong team. I now uh, I think it's their third first down already. I didn't have to change the graphic to their first three plays. <laughs> exactly. They're just first down, first down, first down. They're and they're going to attempt to do that all day to this Lincoln defense. So right. You know, this is this is definitely going to be a game. Lincoln is also possibly today going to acknowledge a lot of the uh, a lot of their uh, sophomores and juniors here. See how they can step up here. So third down and two. Going to hand it off. Going to go right up the gut there, and we'll see where they place it. See where they place it, and it looks like they're going to wave. It might be fourth down unless they're going to measure. Players down on the field. Let's hope he's okay. And that's number nine 
down on the field for Lincoln. So they're gonna check him out. Hopefully he's okay. And that's Zachary Chaffrant. So let's hope that Zach's okay. Looking like he possibly got hit as he was coming down on the sidelines there. So we'll take a quick moment to just uh, pause for a second as the trainers take a look. But looking like they actually got the first down, so it is going to be a first down for Erasmus and three straight uh, five plays, and they've already got three first downs so far. So Erasmus looking good. Looks like Chaffrant's okay. He's going to come off on the sidelines. Looks like he just probably needs a, um, an opportunity with the training staff, get him checked out. Hopefully he's okay. You know, injury is one of the biggest concerns that uh, Coach O'Connor was talking about because he really wants his team to be healthy in the fall. He is not concerned with the pandemic season so much as he is with our record when we come back next year. And this is this would be a horrible game for someone to get injured. Right, exactly. And looking like that might be a cross there, possibly the defense cross, and that is offsides called. So defensive side uh, got the quick count there by Cayano, and he gets the uh, five yards, so it'll be first and five for Erasmus as they reset. So Erasmus, two wide receivers on the left-hand side here. That's the ball, hands it off to the running back. He goes up the gun, he's got a oh, lot of room. Oh, he's got a huge hole in the and middle there. And he's going up, and he's taken down right about the four-yard line. Nice little hole there created by this offensive line able to push forward and just drive. The defense did not know that handoff. I think they were trying to expect a little sneak by the quarterback and instead got got fooled there. So it'll be first down at about the three to four yard line. So Erasmus really strong here, looking to set up. The clock running, new quarterback in. Gets the handoff to the left side. It's gonna be a gonna be a wildcat, and he's gonna be taken down right at about the one yard line. So a wildcat there called by uh, Erasmus as the quarterback Cayano is actually playing uh, wide receiver right now. So it'll be second down at about one. Setting up on the left side here. Quarterback still playing deep to the far right sidelines here. Not really even being an issue here. Gets the handoff, goes up the gut, and he's able to get a touchdown, Erasmus. So Erasmus gets a score, and Erasmus is now up six to nothing. So touchdown for Erasmus there. As they look to get set up for the extra point attempt, looking like. So great scoring drive by this uh, Erasmus team, able to get that uh, running score there. I believe that was uh, number number six or number nine who ran it in. So that is a scoring touchdown there, playing the Wildcat and playing it effectively. The punt after, kick is up and it's good. So Link, so Erasmus gets on the board. It's now seven nothing Erasmus as Lincoln will now take over. Well, they'll receive a kickoff. Yes. We saw two horrible moments in last week's game where Lincoln received a kickoff, but they didn't take over. Seven, Seven. yep. Yeah, they did, and uh, you know, I'm sure that's one of the things Coach O'Connor is definitely going to be making sure during this practice this week making sure that this special teams is more prepared, especially since now, um, you know, it was definitely one of the drawbacks with last week's game. Actually, one of their turnovers led a score for Curtis. So, as Erasmus gets ready to kick the ball off and Lincoln will, t will be receiving. A little bit of a uh, breeze right now. Which is pretty good on, which is pretty good, especially on this uh, warm day. Temperature right around 80 degrees. Kickoff going. 
Going to be going outside and being taken right around the 15. He's going to go. He's got three guys going after him. Ooh, a block. Ooh, looking like a flag there. That's going to be a block in the back called definitely on the sideline. So looking like Lincoln's going to lose 10 yards on that play there. Definitely saw that was developing with a swing around the outside. But I believe the one of the uh, Lincoln players pushed the player around in the back. So that's going to be a 10-yard penalty. They're going to call holding, actually. So Lincoln's going to start deep in their own territory right now. So we'll see where they want to set it up. And looking like they're going to be starting first there and going, I believe, I don't know if it's five or ten. So we'll look to see how they score this. And it's gonna be right at the five, so looking like about a 10 yard penalty there. So Lincoln's gonna take over first out, first and 10 at their own five. So they gotta go 95 yards here to get a score. So first down for Lincoln. The Plaza getting set, takes the ball. Gonna go up the front, no gain as this defense continues to be a story for them. One of the most interesting facts for you guys today is that, as we said, the star quarterback for Lincoln is out of this game. Zachary Plaza, who is the quarterback today, he's only known the offense today for three days. So this is definitely going to be um, a struggle for this offense, but we'll look to see how they set up here. Yeah, Lincoln's quarterback had a knee injury they were afraid he might have torn a meniscus, uh, but he has been MRI'd and is cleared. Uh, but he's still sore, so he's not going to be playing until the fall. Right. So second down there, nice play there by Plaza, able to follow his runners there and able to get about six. So it'll be third down now in about four. So nice little opportunity here for Lincoln to extend this drive. Let's look to see how they set up. Two wide receivers on the right. A little bit of motion here. Oh, possible movement. We'll look to see what they call. It's going to be a false start on the offense. Looks like a little bit of a misplay there. Had a little bit of an opportunity and looked like uh, when they were moving over on the left, they weren't prepared. So that's a five-yard loss, putting them back now. Third down and about nine. So gain five yards, lose five yards on the foul. So third down. Plaza getting the ball, getting ready. Here comes the blitz. They're going to go for him, and he's going to go and be taken down again, maybe a gain a yard or two, and it'll be fourth down as Lincoln will have to kick the ball. So again, as we said here, uh, Lincoln's offense is not the same as it usually is. Also, their star running back has was hurt as well. I believe his ankle was hurt, so he's out of this game too. So this is definitely going to be a uh, a trial by error with who they have leading this team today, facing this team today. This this juggernaut of Erasmus Dutchman. So we'll look to see what Erasmus wants to do here. Well. They might decide to uh, blitz to put some pressure. And looking like there's a timeout called by Erasmus. And so we'll see. But this is definitely a good opportunity for Erasmus to uh, possibly. Attempt uh, to safety. Yeah, definitely right now. Or even get a turnover in the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, they've got Lincoln pinned down there so deep. Uh, it's all Lincoln's going to be able to do to get a punt off right. and try to get the Erasmus offense to have to work a little bit right. before they get back to that end zone. And looks like one of our players on the sidelines being checked out. So this is definitely going to be a uh, a hard a hard fought game to say the least on the Lincoln side. Uh, to, before the game today, I actually printed out the Erasmus um, lineups. And they have officially on their roster 89 players. 
Uh, it was very interesting to go talk to their coach today. He wanted me to highlight some of the players today, which, you know, I would love to do that hopefully soon um, when uh, we have a official camera person come. But Appar woo. Apparently they, uh, they show up late once they've graduated. Ah, yes. Go figure. But we do have a couple of seniors so that swear they're on their taken. way. They're going to protect as they get ready. Take them right around the 41. He's got plenty of room in front of him. He's going to go up the right sideline. He's still got room. He's got distance. He's still going. He's leaving everyone away. And it's going to be a touchdown, Erasmus, as he takes the punt return, 42 yards for the score. It's a touchdown, Erasmus there. It looked like one of the Lincoln players was hurt on the sidelines as well. So just like that, Erasmus up 13-0 as they get ready to set up for possibly the extra point here. So 13 nothing here. So again, a little bit of a hard, uh, tough luck there. They were going to try to uh, possibly, uh, look like they were gonna um, go for a blitz there they decided to play some fielding there, and that worked out for the best of Erasmus as the special teams was able to take that to the house, a 42-yard punt return for the touchdown. Sorry. Got it. So getting set, the kick is up, and it's good. So that's good. Good kick there. As we back it up. And... Erasmus is now up. 14 to nothing. 14 to nothing. And so, looking like some of the players getting checked out on the sidelines here for Lincoln. It's definitely going to be a, uh, a very hard game for them right now with them up 14 nothing. So 14 nothing is the score. So now looking like they're going to, I think they switched the sidelines right now because it is the second quarter, I believe. Uh, they're moving into the second quarter right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, not 100% not certain about that because it looks like they are kicking it to the other side. So looking like it is the second quarter. Uh, they looks like they possibly are playing with a running clock, um, which if they are, uh, Lincoln might need it right now based on what they've seen so far from uh, their offensive side. So Lincoln getting ready to receive the kick. Kick getting ready, being taken right around the 18 yard line. Got a little bit of some distance, but Ras was able to take that player down. Right about the 25, that's a, that's a gain of about seven on that kickoff. And now this Lincoln uh, offense, who's struggled these last two possessions, looking to take over. So what we need to see from this Lincoln offense, Pete? Well, they starts with one drive. They, uh, they went three and out in their first possession. And then the second possession, a false start backed them up. And then was it a false start? Or, yeah, a false start backed them up. They just ended up in the end zone practically. So really, they just, they've just they got to get a first down. And then once you've got one first down, then work on the next one, work your way down the field. Right. But, you know, again, we mentioned the quarterback has only spent three days with this offense. So one, 10 yards at a time. So that's a little bit of a game, but a flag thrown. We'll look to see what is called here. Look to see what the flag is going to be on. Not sure if that's a hold or if that's going to be face max of some kind. We'll look to see as the ref gets ready to make the call. Face mask against the defense. That's a big, big penalty giving Lincoln a first down at least and moving them up. Yeah, it should be a first down in 15 yards. That's right. So we'll look to get them reset as they move them over. So first down now. Takes the ball, hands it off to the running back. That's number six, Nicholas. 
And he's got nowhere to go as that Erasmus defense just continues to just be swarming that inside, pushing these uh, linebackers to the back. One of the things that uh, D. Siena was mentioning all season is that these uh, uh, offensive linemen, some of them are freshmen right now that have been playing all year. So, I mean, Erasmus is definitely attacking them. Throw down the sidelines and incomplete. Looks like a misplay there was trying to uh, was probably looking to, for his uh, wide receiver to go deep, and the wide receiver stopped. So that's going to be uh, third down. So third down now, and actually about five here. So third down and five. We'll look to see what Lincoln can do. We'll see what Erasmus wants to do now. They're probably going to show blitz. Plaza getting ready. Has time. Oh, Ooh, early looking jump. Looking like an early jump there. Look to see what they want to call. It's a false start on the outside by number nine. He jumped a little too soon. He saw that uh, Erasmus was getting ready for a blitz, and he jumped up too quickly. So it'll be third down and 10. So third down and 10 now. As Lincoln sets up. Getting ready, Plaza's looking to throw. Still looking, he's got a man over the middle of the field. That's a nice play, but looks like it's gonna be just short of the first down there. Nice little job there by Plaza, able to extend that play, but it's gonna be fourth down and two. And looks like Lincoln's not gonna go for it. Looks like they're gonna maybe punt it. And so another three and out possible for Lincoln. They had a nice little opportunity there, nice little pass on the right side, and he just had one man to beat, but he didn't beat him, and that enabled Erasmus to continue this three and out, started by this, uh, this defense. So last time Lincoln punted the ball, Erasmus took it to the end zone for a 42-yard punt return for a touchdown. We got them set up here. It's number six, Foxworth, waiting for the return. Getting ready, gets the ball, he kicks it off. It's gonna go right out of bounds. So that was a smart play by Lincoln there. Don't give him an opportunity to get the ball again. And they kicked it out right at about the 35, 36 yard line. So Erasmus will take over on downs, up 14 nothing. So Erasmus up 14 nothing here as the clock continues to run. Looking like we're playing a, uh, a running clock game today, folks. Whether by choice or just by the scoreboard operator not wanting to take the time. That's right. <laughs> as we know, this is the last day of school. So I'm sure everyone on the field Besides the players themselves, definitely want to uh, be done with school, to say the least. First play here, Kayano looking to hand off. He holds it, he's gonna throw up the middle. He's got an open receiver and just misses number three going over the left. He had him right open. He had a chance there. The quarterback was taken down and it'll be second down. So that was number three of Erasmus Hall. Uh, we'll get you know who that was. Eli Riddick. So that was Eli. Looking to try to uh, get that play. Cayano threw a perfect pass, but just overthrew him. So it'll be second down. So second down for Erasmus. Looking to set up here. He's got another opportunity to throw the ball. Trying to sack him, misses the play. Still going, he's got some room on the sidelines. Able to get, we'll see how much distance he got. He might have gotten the first down. We'll look to see where they set up here. And it's looking like it's about third down and seven. So possible sack there leads to seven yards gain. And it's third down for Erasmus. So 
So third down and seven now. Lincoln sidelines cheering on the defense here. A little bit of stutter oh, step. There's a jump. And looking like offsides called on Lincoln. Lincoln being too, too frantic. And that leads to an automatic first down. So unfortunate there. So they move the chains and give Erasmus a first down. So first down and 10. Hands it up the gut and that's no gain. Nice job there by the Lincoln defense. That started by the senior, number 56, Arvin Bolitimic, able to stop that run and it'll be second down. So second down now. Lost about three yards on the play. Cayano on the sidelines getting some of his, getting his play call here. He's gonna get the ball here. Look in the possible throw, he had a, the, the, uh, he had a play dead and looked like a flag called. Looks like he was trying to go to the left side to the, to the uh, wide receiver there, but the uh, Lincoln was able to contain it. So we'll look to see what they wanna call here. So a flag could be a possible holding penalty called. We'll look to see what they wanna do. So a holding called on the offense. So that's gonna move the ball back. Nice job there. They had a play to throw to the left-hand side, but Lincoln was able to uh, stop it. So it's gonna be third down. So they decline the penalty. So it'll be third down and 10. So interesting call there by Coach O'Connor, not taking the penalty. You don't wanna give them the opportunity by giving them an extra down. Right. So third. They still have 10 yards to go. You just make them eat it. Third down and 10, getting ready. He's going to look throw down the left sidelines and incomplete again, trying to hook up again with number three and didn't really have a good throw there over through his man. So it'll be third down and 10. And Aras, fourth, fourth. fourth down and 10, my apology. That'll be fourth down. So we'll look to see what Erasmus wants to do here. They're up by two scores. It's fourth down and 10. So we'll see what Lincoln wants to do here, or excuse me, what Erasmus wants to do, but looking like they're gonna get ready to punt the ball back, which is a smart play with them being up by two scores. Yeah, the way Erasmus is playing, there's no reason to have to go for it here because you can just put the ball in the hands of Lincoln and then trust your defense to try to make something happen. Right, timeout issued by Coach O'Connor. Looking like he needs to talk to his players here. Clock on the scoreboard still running here. Not sure if the refs are following that or if they're keeping time on their own. I guess we're gonna let you know in about a little under two minutes. Right, exactly. So we'll look to see who is really running the clocks today? <laughs> um, but of course, this game right now, uh, it's all Erasmus with the score up 14 nothing. I'll tell you, I'm just most impressed that they had a kicker for the extra points. Right, and, they, and, and a good kicker at that too. I mean, the fact that they had 89 players on the team, I was hoping one of them knew how to kick the ball to say the least. So. Looking like Coach O.C. talking to his players right now, trying to get them ready for this fourth down play. Um, but looking like Erasmus is just gonna punt the ball back. Um, just playing conservative right now with them up by two. So players getting ready, set. Lincoln's gonna set up with two uh, players in the backfield. As Erasmus will get ready. Skip the ball. They're gonna try it themselves. They're gonna try to get the first down. And taken down, and Lincoln will take over on downs. Interesting play call there by Erasmus. 
they actually wanted to go for the first down. A nice takedown, looking like by number 34 of Lincoln, and that is Jylin Cooper Lashley. So the defense will get ready to come out on the field. Again, we'll have to see uh, who controls the clock here. As the clock is zero now, but we'll look at the refs. Nope, they must be keeping time on their own. Right. So the refs are keeping time. So Lincoln gonna set up now. Now they're in scoring, t they're in fi the uh, opponent's fielding territory. First play here, Plaza looking to his left. He's looking around, he's gonna throw the ball away. That could be intentional grounding called. It, it will be. He didn't scramble far enough out of the pocket to right. do that. And looking like he was gonna throw it to the right side. The Plaza didn't really have it, so that's gonna be a loss of downs and minus 10 for that one. And you could see DCN is talking the plaza. Again, as we mentioned at the top, this is not their regular quarterback. So that's why it's been a little tough. Looks like Coach OC is even getting number 15 off the sidelines right now. He's not happy either. This has been a very hard game for Lincoln. They're definitely feeling it right now. So we'll look to see what the refs want to call here because they haven't officially called it. So it is intentional grounding against the against them. So it's going to be a loss of down. So looking like it's going to be possibly third down. We'll look to see what they say as they set up. They're going to do second down. So second down, they're going to move the ball back here. And again, DC, Coach DeSiena talking with his players. I think the refs are conferring to argue what is uh, the official call. I'm sure there isn't really a lot of these type of penalties called in PSAL, Pete. Oh, there are plenty of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you're the quarterback and you end up scrambling, you're very often, your first instinct is get rid of the ball, don't lose the yards. And I think the debate right now might be, did he scramble enough? Because once you're outside of the pocket, you can just throw it away. Right. So... And that may not be the debate at all. Right. I might be, you know, talking nonsense. So they're going to do five. Sorry, folks. So, yes. <laughs> so looking like it's going to be about, looks like they're going to say a loss of five. Or actually they're going back even further. That's going to be a 10-yard loss. That was what you said originally. Yes. It should be a 10-yard penalty. Yep. So it is a 10-yard loss and a loss of the down. So it'll be second down. Maybe that was the debate was uh, what do the rules say about intentional grounding in this level? Plaza going to take it up the gut. Had a little bit of room there, but able to take him down by that Erasmus side. The defensive back got him on the right side there, or got him on the left. So it'll be third down now. Third down and about, it's a lot of yards, Pete. I think <laughs> that's about 20 or so. So third down and 20 here. What does it say on your side, Pete, the time is right now? Well, I made the mistake of trying to follow the scoreboard <laughs> in the stadium. Maybe it was wishful thinking that it would be a very quick half. So I didn't actually take the time on my own, and I regret it now for our viewers at home. <laughs> I, I apologize, and I won't let it happen again. Okay. Well, looks In all the rest of the games this season, I will be much more on top of the clock. <laughs> Well, I think I can say in honesty that you will since we won't be back till next year. So we'll just keep that in mind moving forward. Last <laughs> game of the season. Can't yes. hold anything back now. <laughs> no, you can't. Definitely not. So, oh, I've been waiting to say that for a long time <laughs> this year. <laughs> well, uh, I, I think we're more looking forward to if you, if you quote one of my favorite catchphrases today, which is that nowhere to put them. But Lincoln is at fourth down now. So fourth down and probably about 18 yards. Looking to, they're gonna punt it away. So this is the fourth time that they punt today. For those of you new to our broadcast, Mike Capizzo has two catchphrases that he's known for. Nowhere to put them and getting ready. 
Uh, you might have heard earlier already this game, he's said that a kicker was getting ready, the ball was getting ready, <laughs> the refs were getting ready. Everybody's gotten ready. Yes. Well, they should be ready now with Erasmus taking over right at about the 50-yard line here. Don't know 100% the score. Oh, the score uh, is 14 score. nothing. But I the, got uh, the you score, on that. The score, what's, what's going on on the time, the time card, just the, the time right now. Um, so Erasmus will take over as we start at the top of this broadcast. Um, uh, Lincoln having some very big difficulties. A lot of injuries led to what they're showing right now on the field. Their players are still fighting hard with Erasmus only being up by two scores. The defense is doing all that they can against this this uh, Erasmus um, offense, which so far today, uh, first drive of the game, they were able to uh, score very quickly, uh, gain at least five first downs. And now we'll get ready here. As Erasmus sets up Right at about the 48 yard line. First play, hand up the gut. As the running back will move forward, he's got some room on the outside. A flag thrown. He's gonna go to the sidelines, be taken right out of bounds at about the 10, but I think they're gonna call a holding penalty, which is gonna actually move the, move the play back. And looking like the ref, it's gonna be a hold possibly called on the, on the offense there. And that'll be a 10 yard penalty, I believe. And they're gonna restart. Holding against the offense. That's how that hole was able to be held. You saw as he was coming around the sides, the uh, Lincoln player was pulled in by the shoulder pads there and that enabled the ref to call the penalty. So instead of being first down, set up around the 15, they lose 10 yards on the play. So now it'll be first and 20 for Erasmus. So first down and 20 here. Usually wherever you see a play like that with the player ripping around the sides, there's a chance that they would throw the flag. So fake with the handoff. Quarterback looking to throw deep. He's got a receiver down the sidelines and smacked away, but a flag thrown by the ref. I think he possibly went over the back to swat that ball away. And it looks like they're gonna set up right where they had the run play. Lincoln sidelines not happy with that call. And that passing play is gonna lead them to an automatic first down Ref's just talking about it before setting, doing the call on the field here. Making sure that that's the call. You see that they're talking with each other, making sure it's true or not. But looking like they're actually walking back. So they're not, they're looking like they may not call it. So they're not gonna call, they're gonna take the flag back and it'll be second down and 20. So they took the flag back, looking like whatever they saw on one side, the other ref was able to do it and was able to call it off, unless they're looking like there might have been a hold penalty, which means that the flags are actually gonna offset. So that's what, that's what the discussion is on the field. There was a passing interference called against Lincoln, but looking like there was a holding penalty against Erasmus. And if two penalties happen, that means they offset. So holding against the defense, passing, it looks like they call a holding against the defense. And looks like that's all they're gonna call. They're only gonna call a holding against the defense. And that's okay. So after all that, it's just a holding against the defense and they set up First down and one? I'm very confused, Pete. Uh, welcome to PSAL football. I'm very confused. First down is five, I'm so lost. Okay, first play, 
Hand up the gut, got some running room, got some running, still going, still going <laughs> forward and taken down right about the 32 yard line. So that's a full first down there. Right at about the 31 yard line. So first down for Erasmus. And looking like they're gonna continue to run the clock here, unless that's the end of the second quarter. No, they just called that it's the four minutes on the clock. Ooh, ooh. So if time. anyone needs to know, <laughs> it's four minutes on the clock. I can do that. All right, so we officially had refs <laughs> acknowledge four minute it. warning. Thank you so much, refs, for that opportunity now. So four minutes on the clock here. Hand off to the left side, got some room. Got one man to beat. Yeah, and, and he's, he's beat got, him. <laughs> he beat him, he's still going to the sidelines, taken out of bounds. That was started by number 22 of Erasmus. Number 22 is not on my list. Okay, but looks like we got an injured player on the field for Lincoln. Another injury as we got them coming out to the sidelines here. Some of the players kneeling right now. Hopefully everything is okay. It's just such a physical game. And of course, Erasmus and Lincoln, both powerhouses of New York City football. Looks like a flag was just thrown. Not sure who that was on. Never seen that before. Did they just throw the flag against the coach? And it's possible if the coach said some unsavory things towards the ref. Talked about it at the basketball game earlier this week. You can say unsavory things, but not at the ref. Right, and we saw two technicals uh, called against Erasmus when the basketball team, uh, basketball teams were facing each other. So it's possible there's an unsportsmanlike conduct coming. Very if that flag is for what we think it is. Yeah. So. Definitely checking on their player right now. We're hoping for everything to be okay with him. Um, looks like he's gonna be able to get up, which is good as they bring him off on the sidelines. That's number 11 for Lincoln. Uh, that's, that's actually one of our uh, wide receivers, Marcus Roseman. So let's hope he's okay as he's gonna come to the sidelines. So we look to see if the ref is gonna uphold that uh, flag penalty, he probably is. Haven't seen him acknowledge it yet. So it'll be first down now. Looks like it's at the 10, yep. so first and goal. First and goal here, fakes the handoff. He's gonna try it himself. He's got one person to beat. He's gonna go to the sidelines. We'll see if it's just him. Touchdown, Erasmus. Vincent Cayano the third, taking it himself there. And the touchdown with Erasmus now up 20 to nothing. So 20 nothing. And we'll get ready for the kick here by Erasmus. And you can just tell today that this, sorry. So tilt it up for you guys so you could see. There you go. So we get ready for the point after here. Getting set. Kick is up. And it's to the right, no no good, so no good there. First missed, uh, missed uh, point attempt there by Erasmus. And with about, oh, I'd say maybe three minutes on the clock there, Pete? Well, I got 350, there are only two plays from <laughs> okay. scrimmage. 
All right. To bring so, them into the end zone there. All right. So at about three three minutes and 50 seconds, I, I knew it was around three minutes and change. Yeah. No, it, <laughs> it has been some time since that four-minute warning, but that was because of an injury, a penalty flag that may or may not have actually counted for anything right. except some idle conversation between us. <laughs> so with, with about three minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock here, Lincoln down 20 nothing. Or the scoreboard in the stadium now reads 212. Maybe they'll listen to that. <laughs> in PSAL, you never know. Right. So Rasmus now kicking the ball off. 20 unanswered points here by Erasmus. This offense starting to show their strengths and this defense being a juggernaut against this Lincoln team. Kick getting off. Down and being picked up right about the uh, 15. It's getting swiped. Going to be brought down right about the 23-yard line, so Lincoln will take over right about there. So we'll look to see what Coach De Siena is going to do with his team down by three scores. But as we said, this Lincoln team having a lot of difficulties today. Maybe there could be a possibility that we could see some of the younger guys come in to show off what we can hope for for next year. A lot of these players that are on the field right now, some of them are the seniors, but some of them are going to be playing and being a strength for Lincoln in the upcoming fall season. And one of the things that Coach O'Connor has talked about is that he's excited to have an off season with his players. First play there taken by Peters, and that's going to be a nice run there on the outside. He had a little bit of room, but a nice play there by number eight of Erasmus taking him down. So it'll be second down and about three on that little end around to Peters. Plaza looking at the play calling. Second down and about two. Gets the handoff. He's thinking about handing off number six, and he's got it. That's Nicholas taking it up the sidelines and able to gain, looking like some yards here. Should Look be a first see. down. Should be a first down unless there was a flag thrown, and I do see a flag on the field, so they might take the ball back. Looking like it's going to be a holding penalty against Lincoln, so Lincoln started by gaining eight yards, and just like that, they're going to lose a lot of them. Second down and 12 now. So nice first play, but again, another holding penalty. That's the second holding penalty called against the line today. So a little unfortunate. They had some rhythm building up there on that first play, but now back to second and 12. Rasmus defense getting ready to possibly blitz here. As he goes, Plaza's got it. He's going to throw deep down the sidelines. He's got a play and incomplete. No flag called there. He's lucky it wasn't picked off. Two defenders in the area. He's trying to get Peters there. So it'll be about third down and 12. Plaza able to take a shot there down the field. And threw it up high enough for his wide receiver to be able to get in. Uh, into that play because if he wasn't there they had two Erasmus players all around that ball ready to pick that off. So third down and 12. Look to see what play De Siena wants to give Plaza. Peters move motioning to the right. He's going to go looking like a screen started by number six. He's got some room. He's got a lot of room. He's going to go deep. He's going down the sidelines and he's going to be taken down right about the 20 yard line. That's started by number six. That's Emmanuel Nicholas getting that little screen action there. I believe that is number six or is that number five? No, that is number six. That's Emmanuel Nicholas. He specifically told me today to acknowledge him on the field because this is his first time starting for Lincoln. So Lincoln with a nice play there, setting up right around the 20. 
And the clock's gonna continue to run. It is? I believe so. They're gonna give it one more play, possibly. I thought he was pushed out of bounds. Never mind. So, yeah, I thought so, too. Motion to the right to Peters. Plaza's gonna set up, he's gonna throw. And, oh, a little bit of an opportunity there to get the pick off. And an incomplete pass. And look to see what's called on the field here. They're gonna confer for a minute. Don't know if that's a timeout called, but there is a flag on the field. So we'll look to see what the penalty is on with Lincoln down by 20 to nothing. So ref's talking to the coach. It looks like the ref's coming. Pick up the flag, we'll see what the call is on the field. It was an incomplete pass there. Had a chance to pick the ball off. Looks like they're gonna, we'll see what was called. Not 100% not certain, but looks like the players are going to the sidelines. This might be the end of the first half. Just looking to see what was called on the field, but I think that was the final play of the first half. And looks like that's gonna be the All end. All right, I think so gonna, we're gonna, gonna step away. Yep. We will be back with you after a short break of halftime with the second half of this game against E. Hall and Lincoln. E. Hall having a dominant performance so far. They lead 20 to nothing, and we'll be right back.
Welcome back to Abraham Lincoln High School in beautiful Coney Island. Last day of school. It's Friday the 25th. Beautiful 80 degree weather. Not exactly football weather, but we're making the best of it. Lincoln trailing 20 to nothing against their rival, Erasmus Hall. E. Hall just dominant in the first half. Mike Capizo, what did you see? I mean, you kind of just summed it up specifically, Pete. This has been totally Erasmus's game. Uh, Erasmus, one of the only teams this year to not given up a score. And so far in this first half, Lincoln has not scored as they're down 20 to nothing. So the defense of Erasmus, you know, we have to also understand that Lincoln does not have a lot of their star players today. They got hurt, so they were out of this game. So Erasmus is not playing the full potential that Lincoln has, but Lincoln's still fighting. Hopefully this second half we can see something as they kick it off to the left side. It's tipped by Erasmus, trying to be taken right around the 12. He's got a little bit of room. He's still going, but he's going to be taken down right at about... Looking like around the 20-yard uh, line. So nice job there by Lincoln, able to get out as quickly as possible and able to keep Erasmus from gaining a big gain there. A little bit of a misfortune there by Erasmus as they tip the ball. And so it'll be first down for Erasmus, taking over right about the 12 yard, the 20-yard line. We'll look to see what Erasmus does, especially from their uh, quarterback who had a very strong first first half with a rushing touchdown, uh, had a, uh, the running back had a running touchdown, and he also had a punt return for a touchdown. Two stories in this game, really. There has been the dominant performance by E. Hall, but then there have also been a lot of miscues from the Lincoln squad. And part of that, as we said, is Lincoln doesn't have all of its starters. Their quarterback has only been training for three days as quarterback. So, of course, there are false starts, there are problems, and there is a great play by E. Hall getting them, themselves another first down. Right. So, taken down on the outside there. So, first down, E. Hall. And we'll look at second down. Or first down, actually. So nice run there on the outside. That was taken by, I believe, that was number number nine of E. Hall. And this is the first time where I can actually acknowledge the players. And uh, that was number nine is, let me just double check. Don't really have his name there. Second down. Another handoff. And be taken right down right there. So no play there for number nine. And it'll be second down and right at the marker. That is actually Yassine Murden. I was going to say, I thought we had, it's, I yeah. only announced like two names yeah. in the first half. <laughs> number nine was one of them. He's yes. definitely on that sheet. Okay. So second down now. <laughs> like we said, there are 88 players on their roster. We have numbers for about a dozen or so of yeah. them, and they're not in any order. No. Except alphabetical, which doesn't help when you don't know the names. Right. <laughs> Second down for Erasmus. Looking for a pass play, pass it to the right side at number three, and that's a catch, and that is a first down. Nice catch there by Eli Riddick. Able to beat number 26 down the sidelines. He beat the junior, Devoir Holmes. Didn't have a chance there to put up his hands. And that would be first down. So first down right about the 35 yard line. E Hall being quick with their offensive calling here. Got this Lincoln defense a little on their toes. He's gonna look to pass again. He's gonna throw in the left. And incomplete, didn't really have his man there. He was looking for number six to move to the left, but number six actually cut to the right. That is a throw over to Jaden Foxworth. So that's gonna be second down. So second down here. So 
Second down. This arm of Cayano has been on display so far. He's gonna throw again. He's got a man over the middle, and nice catch there by number 11. He's still up, he's still going. He'll be taken down right about the 10 yard line. That is Christian Ellis with the catch there. And just like that, so quickly, Erasmus is now in first and goal territory. Set up right about the seven. So first and goal here for Erasmus. This Lincoln defense facing a very tough quarterback today. Cayano has been playing really good today. Looking like there's gonna be a full start that just got called on Erasmus' side. So five yards, they'll move him back. So it'll be first down and about the 12, with 12 yards to go. First and goal for Erasmus here. Look to see how they want to set up here. They got two wide receivers on the left-hand side. He gets it bobbled by the quarterback. He has no play unless he gets something going. He's going to take it himself and take him down. Right at about the 12 yard line, maybe actually taken down right at about the 13, so a loss there. So a little bit of a bobble to the quarterback and two straight plays, they had a full start and now a little bit of a mishap on the snap. So it'll be second down. Second and goal for Erasmus. Got two wide receivers on the right with a wide receiver on the left. Running back to the left of him. Gets the ball. He's going to look. He's going to throw to the left side. He's got an open receiver, and he misthrows it. He had a little bit of an opening there to hit his man, but he threw a little too high. If he would have thrown more straight on, he had a wide open, and no one really in front of him to be able to take that into the house for six. So it'll be third down now. Third down. So it's a third quarter. Third quarter. And uh, third down and goal right about the 12. So we'll look to see what Erasmus wants to do here. Lincoln starting to show this defense. Just trying to be careful here. They're going to do a handoff right up the gut. Look to see where they go, but they'll be taken down. And that wait, that might be a one. turnover. No, looks like looks like not a turnover there. So it's going to be fourth and goal right at about the one yard line. So Erasmus has a very interesting decision here. If they convert this. They get a touchdown, but if they turn the ball over, Lincoln's going to be right at the one. So fourth and goal, getting set, handoff. He's going to be trying to take him, and he's going to be taken down, and it's going to be no score by, Link by Erasmus. So Lincoln's going to take over. We can stop the clock. And then when Lincoln, when Lincoln does their first play, then start. Nice job by Lincoln. What an opportunity that was there. Lincoln was able to not give up a score there with first and goal right at about the uh, seven yard line. Had a false start, a missed snap by Erasmus. Able to run it up to be fourth down right at about the one. And just like that, Lincoln will take over. A yep, big stop by the Lincoln defense. But look at where they're starting. They're starting right at the one yard line. So first time I'm gonna call it all in this game, folks, nowhere to put Lincoln at the one. First play here, and that's gonna be a safety. So Erasmus gets a safety. 
And just like that, I believe they're gonna give him a safety. And they're gonna give him, I think they're gonna give him a safety. Yep, so a safety, I believe, is called on the field. They're just conferring. So two points for Erasmus. Two points for Erasmus. <laughs> Mr. Cafizo is All not right. just being repetitive. He's yeah. actually trying to tell the scoreboard people so two what's points. happening. Yes, so <laughs> yeah, I'm trying my best, folks. But just like that, with Lincoln setting up at the one yard line, nowhere to put him. We're trying to figure out a way out of that, you know, deep in their zone. <laughs> See, this is what's wrong with your expression. You said nowhere to put Lincoln. Erasmus knew exactly where to put Lincoln. Yeah, it's unfortunate there for Lincoln. They they were able to stop this uh, Erasmus from scoring, but terrible field position for this offense that has struggled because they don't have a lot of their star players today. And you know, you're putting in a very inexperienced quarterback um, to be at the one yard line to start. And as we said in the top, um, Plaza has only been playing quarterback for three days. So, you know, he has a very limited uh, play calling. So now we'll get ready for uh, Lincoln will now have to punt the ball. So usually um, what happens is, is that whenever there is a safety, the uh, home, the team that got safetyed they are gonna punt the ball back to Erasmus rather than kick it off. Unless they are actually gonna do a kickoff here, which goes against, again, NFL rules from PSAO rules. So they're gonna kick it right about the 25. So nice fielding position bobbled by Erasmus, but able to take it, take it by number 20. And he's got some room, still going. And starting right at about the 40 yard line. I was taken by number 20, and that's Jeremiah Koklu. Or Koklau. So first down for Erasmus here is this Lincoln defense now is back out on the field here. And after the success of getting a turnover on downs by Erasmus, we're looking to see if they can set up here. Looking like uh, possibly a block in the back called by the ref as they move the ball back 10 yards. So we're gonna start actually, instead of in Lincoln territory, we'll start back in Erasmus territory, right at about the 43 yard line. Or actually, um, it's the end of the third quarter. Uh, a little confused, folks. Uh, as maybe they've gone to a running clock after all. Yes. Um, it looks like it's the th possibly the third quarter because now they're going the other direction. Okay. So the score is 22 <laughs> nothing as we start the fourth. I say that with a question mark. Handoff. Running to the left side. He's got some room. Nice run there by number five as he gets taken out of bounds. And that's Wudensley Cartachone. Nice little run there by Wudensley. And yes, looks like the, the clock did get changed to the fourth quarter. And the clock is running. So fourth quarter with Erasmus up 22 nothing. Erasmus with a commanding lead. First play again to, that's again with Densley. He's got some room and taken down right. Looks like he'll be taken down right at about the, let me just check what they say. So looking like no gain there, but probably gain a yard or two as they're at the 29. Looking like possibly a holding penalty as the flag is called. So a holding against the offense, then moving back 10 yards. So it'll be uh, first down and 20. So they get ready. 
Oh, yeah, Mike, do they? They do. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like a throw here, possibly. Throws to the right side and a little short. Looking to set up there with throwing it to number three, but an incomplete pass. Had a wide open receiver and a, yard, a lot of yards in front of him, but an incomplete pass there by Cayano the third. That'll be second down. So second down and about 20. Getting ready, a little blitz on the right side. He's thrown over the middle of the field. He's got an opening and incomplete pass. Had it over the middle to number six. That was Jade Foxworth or J.D. Foxworth. And it'll be third down. So third down and 20. So third down and 20 here for Erasmus. Erasmus, all Erasmus today with them up by a score of 22 to nothing. Looking like a call here. <laughs> False start called by Erasmus on Erasmus there. So third, so and third and 25. Third and 25. I'm laughing because before you knew what the call was, you said, it's looking like a call here. <laughs> yes, it certainly does. Yeah, it does. Thank yes. you for that You're welcome. stellar <laughs> announcing. <laughs> so thir third down and about 25 yards to go. If uh, I'm Erasmus right now, I'm probably just going to do a little bit of a run play here just to eat the clock, even though it is a run, yeah, running clock. Yeah, with a running clock, shoot for the end zone. Right. I'm expecting them to go long. And looks like they are. Blitz on its way, trying to get him, and he's going to be taken down. Nice play, fumble, and recovered by Lincoln. Nice job there by started by number eight. Able to get that sack there, that's Omar Roberts. Able to burst through and follow the quarterback and it'll be a takeover on downs by Lincoln. So the defense finally able to take to uh, show up there and get the turnover. Fumble recovery. Right. Not a turnover on downs. No, my apology nope. there, fumble, <laughs> fumble there. <laughs> So a turnover by Erasmus. And now let's see what Lincoln can do. If this clock really is running, this may be Lincoln offense's last chance to put some points on the board. Exactly. Looking, looking like the refs are talking about it, saying that there is, looks like they may overturn the call. Are they overturning it? I'm not sure. Yup, the refs are overturning the call. It wasn't a turnover. They're actually saying he was down. Before the ball came yes, out. Yes, they're actually gonna call not a turnover. Took a long time for that call to be done. And it's gonna be fourth down Erasmus. Around 25 yards. But right, <laughs> so fourth down. What a what has took a long time for those refs to make that final judgment call. And so Erasmus will will now look to punt the ball. So rather than Lincoln taking over on the turnover, Erasmus gets a lucky break and will now punt the ball. So Lincoln, I think, getting ready, trying to possibly block the punt. They got a little run here and still trying to go and they'll take over on downs with the uh, trying to return, trying to get the first down there. And so it becomes Lincoln's football at roughly the same spot anyway. Exactly. So same spot for Lincoln. And if there's anything we can hope for for the Lincoln side of the ball right now, we want there to be a score. We, if there's anything that they can take away from this game, is that they can be the only team this season to score on Erasmus. So I'm hoping, as a fan of a 
faculty member of Lincoln that this team can pull it together and get a score against this defense. So first down now for Plaza. He takes it, hands the ball off to Nicholas. He's trying to go up the gut, but this defense swarms him down. No gain there. Be second down. Second down with the clock continuing to run. We'll look to see what DC Siena wants. If I'm DC Siena right now, I know one play that has been so effective for them this whole year has been screen plays. So maybe this is a perfect time for Lincoln to get a screen. Second down, handoff as Nicholas trying to do something here. He's gonna do a trick play and an incomplete pass. Looking like Peters trying to do a trick play to the outside, but those uh, defensive backs were all over Roseman and it'll be third down. So third down and 10. Trying to do something diff different here, but again, it's just been really tough for this team being down some of their star players to get something going. So third down and 10. Plaza getting ready. Oh, Plaza able to get one of the Erasmus uh, defensive backs to cross. So that's gonna be a five yard penalty there. And I'll put it at third and five. So third down and five for Lincoln. So they gain five yards on the penalty. Still need five more yards. So Gerd down and five. Getting ready, throw over. That's a pass and a catch by Roseman. That'll be a first down. Nice job, Roseman, with that catch there. And the Lincoln will move the chains. So they're trying to definitely be one of the few teams this season to score on Erasmus. They be the only team this season. Exactly. So first down. Plaza gets the ball, takes it himself, goes up the gut, and still going forward. He's going deep. He's going down the sidelines, and well, nice little down play at the 25. there. Nice job, Lincoln. Lincoln getting something going here. They want to be the first team to score on this E-Hall defense, and boy, are they getting an opportunity now. Looks like going to be a timeout on the field. It may be the four-minute warning as one of the players on E-Hall is on the turf and looks like he's in a lot of pain. Everyone's out on the field right now, all the coaches from both sides. So the player down on the field right now Definitely checking on him, making sure he's okay. Got the training staff checking to see if he's all right. But he We're looks not like able to see who it is. No, not able to see who it is. But right now, looking like they're checking his, possibly his leg. So, looking like that's number 53 of e -Hall. So 53, don't know who that player is on our side. Wasn't uh, told to us before the game. Just hoping that he's all right. So some of the players making sure their, their comrades are right. Some of them are on kneeling on the sides. Everyone's just hoping that this player is okay, but there's definitely a concern on the field. And you could tell some of the coaches on Erasmus's side is running to the sidelines, trying to get some things for this player. So we're gonna step away for a quick break while they help him off the field. And we will be right back with you. We don't wanna sit here and show you too much of this. We'll be right back.
And that player is back up. You can see him there on.